Okay, we're gonna make some smoked trout. First things first, we've gotta get our smoker ready. I am going to be using an electric smoker. So I have my, uh, my wood box, my pellet box full. I'm using pellets. I like these because they're quick. They're easy, you don't have to soak them in water. The alternative is to use wood chips. If you're going to be using wood chips, you want to get either a smoker or a smoker box, a tiny little stainless steel box. You can then put soaked wood chips in. You wanna soak these for a couple hours. And the reason you soak them is so that they don't just catch on fire. Because what you want them to do is just smolder and slowly burn and release their smoke and their natural flavor to enhance your dish or your whatever it is you're smoking. So I've got these ready in my pellet box. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in my smoker, which I have set for 225 degrees for a smoked trout. We're gonna be smoking it for about an hour, an hour and a half. So now this next step is to add your seasonings. You gotta decide what you want your trout to taste like. Do you want it to taste enhanced more than just from the smoke? I like to add a little bit of salt, but if I'm gonna add the salt, I'm gonna add it to the part of the fish that's going to need the salt. Because we're probably not gonna eat the skin after we smoke it. So we wanna season the actual flesh and the inside of the fish. Sprinkle a little bit of salt. You can add a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Maybe some lemon pepper would be nice. Some fresh herbs would go a long way. And I'm also gonna hit it with a little bit of pepper. I'm not sure this is gonna go very well. Since I can't grind pepper with one hand. Okay. Now you notice I have my fish up on a wire rack. You can put them right onto your smoker racks. I like this because it's easy for transport. All my trout is ready. Now again, you also notice that I season the inside of the fish so the fish has been gutted. Keeping the head on, keeping the tail on, it's gonna be just as easy to remove after smoking as it would be before. So I'm gonna go put my wood pellets in get my smoker hot, and then we'll uh, start smoking some fish. Okay, I've got our smoker ready. A little higher than 225. Once we open the door, it's gonna cool down a little bit. So we've got our trout ready to go in, already on our tray. Our smoke coming out. Go ahead and put the trout in it on the second rack. Okay, go ahead and close that up. Good, 220 degrees, hour and 45. I'll come back and check it in about an hour. Okay, let's go ahead and check this out. Under cover of the night now. It's good to smoke. Oh, wish that doesn't burn your eyes. Okay, so we're gonna check it. You can feel the texture. It's probably could stand to go a little bit longer. See how the colors change. The eyes are now opaque. It's starting to get nice and cooked. Some of the fatty oils are coming out of the fish. Changing the texture. What I'm gonna do now, take them out. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. I'm gonna put them back in for a little bit.
So our trout has finished smoking. You can see a definite color change and appearance. It's got that nice smoky brownness to it. It's really firmed up in texture. And if you smell it, it's got that really nice wood smoke flavor. Now the last thing we've got to do is get it off the bone. So real gently, I like to use a fork for this. You can just peel the skin off. You want to remove the head. The skin's just going to come right off. Okay, now take the fork, just like we would be filleting it, so we gently lift it off the bones. Turn the backbone down. You can see all those tiny little bones in there. I'm going to leave those. Try to get it as boneless as possible. By gently lifting. And if there are any in there, you know, you always want to go back and just double check. I missed a few right in there. Just pick them right out. Those are what we call pin bones. Okay. You know, definitely want to get those out. Those aren't nice to eat or have in your trout. So we'll just remove all those. And we got a nice smoked trout. What I like to do with this, make a little salad. Just get a little mayonnaise, some capers, some red onion, a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Maybe some sour cream or some uh, cream cheese and mix it up. It's a nice little spread, nice little appetizer. Also nice for breakfast. Or you can also just serve it as smoked trout. Nice little snack. So you can see all those bones right there, left on there. And then you just slowly work. It takes a little bit of time, but you want to get as much meat off there as possible. Okay. So that's it. Smoked trout.